month in 3D Opinions, we take a look at a number of incredible developments in regard to the 3DO company, in addition to some hot new software titles which usher in the holiday season of gaming. First and foremost, in what was considered a surprise announcement, 3DO CEO Trip Hawkins announced plans for 3DO to diversify their business by creating products for the internet and PC. This moves the company away from the overall concept of a game company and repositions it as a multimedia firm. Although some analysts suggest 3DO is in financial trouble, there's no question they have some impressive software. Here's a look at new releases. The city of Megagrid is under the control of evil crime lords, and you're stuck between a rock and a chopper blade in Studio 3DO's Blade Force, an incredible futuristic shooter. As you battle sinister Dick Tracy-like bosses, the method of transportation is by air through the use of a chopper helmet. There's an incredible auto map feature in the game, along with exciting power-ups and enemies. This is an exclusive 3DO title and hence an incentive for many consumers to purchase the machine. The flight engine is as smooth as silk and the gameplay is as intense as adrenaline itself. Nomark Software's hit Macintosh simulator Flying Nightmares was recently released on 3DO, complete with a soundtrack featuring Mike Edwards of the band Jesus Jones. With common full motion video segues, this title includes over 100 texture mapped objects and it runs surprisingly fast for the 3DO. Players suit up in the cockpit of a Harrier jet, modeled correctly down to each nut and bolt, and can engage in a series of intense air-to-air -air and air-to-sea battles. All the amenities of a PC flight simulator are included with multiple camera views such as inside the cockpit and trail camera, along with realistic sound effects. As a highly detailed simulation, players can even fly missions with up to three wingmen. It's strongly recommended that you use the CH-3DO joystick for maximum effect, as the control pad is simply too confusing for this type of detailed simulation. Flying Nightmares is an intense simulation that is well polished, holding its own against other sims such as Air Combat on the PSX. Id Software's little game that could, Wolfenstein 3D, has now been ported over to 3DO by Interplay. Despite the proverbial question of why, this version features no improvements over the extremely dated PC version except a new reorchestrated soundtrack. If you want to pay homage to the roots of 3D gaming, Wolfenstein 3D is certainly a look back at the past and not a bad game. While there are other more intense and technologically impressive 3D titles out there for the same price, Wolf 3D has the advantage of being a cult classic with high name recognition. Another classic making its way to 3DO is Alone in the Dark 2, Infogram's enchanting 3D polygon-based adventure game, which certainly turned a few heads when it was released. The notorious antagonist, One-Eyed Jack, has kidnapped poor little Grace Saunders and taken her to his terrifying mansion known as Hell's Kitchen. The game is certainly no slouch when it comes to content, and for players looking for a down-to-earth and slow-paced adventure, Alone in the Dark 2 is a long voyage through an interesting storyline with the use of inventory objects and conversation with characters. If you're familiar with Digital Pictures' previous titles such as Slam City with Scottie Pippen and Prizefighter, it's common knowledge that they were relatively limited in action, allowing for a simple one-on-one -on -one gameplay. Their latest sports title, Quarterback Attack with Mike Ditka, blows open the door as you command an entire football team, choosing the plays and picking which players to execute plays, all with the tap of a few buttons. Coach Ditka offers his advice during the game, which is actually quite useful in most cases. The beta version we previewed was very impressive in terms of interaction. All of the features of animation-based titles such as Madden Football are included, yet Quarterback Attack adds a flair of full motion video. It's due for release in the fall. As the slogan states, war has never been so much fun. Virgin's Cannon Fodder, a game which is remarkably violent in a humorous way, is perhaps one of the greatest little arcade games to appear out of Europe in quite some time. A top-down viewpoint is used to display the action as you and fellow commandos travel through 72 stages of missions to try and conquer your arch-rivals. The 3DO version includes a special music video of the theme song, as well as an 8-minute animated introduction sequence. Deserving a 21-gun salute, Cannon Fodder is one game you certainly shouldn't pass up. Grab your DeLorean, and as Marty McFly said in Back to the Future, let's make some time tracks as you travel back in time to a place where man and dinosaur peacefully exist in Lost Eden, another 3D release from Virgin and Cryo. Lost Eden features stunning visual cutscenes and some of the best atmospheric theme music we've ever heard in a product. The actual adventure game portion is somewhat jaded, with corny speech for some characters and a confusing inventory system. 
If you appreciate style over substance, Lost Eden may indeed be found on your shopping list as it has stunning visuals yet stunningly bad voice acting. Finally this month, we couldn't help but give you an advanced look at Captain Quasar from Studio 3DO, which should be a phenomenal game. An isometric 3D shooter reminiscent of Crystal Dynamics' The Horde, Captain Q features gigantic explosions, varied levels, and claymation animation sequences from the same company which produced the California Raisins. Make sure to prune out this title later this year, and we'll have more information on Captain Quasar in the coming months.